Oh my god, that's a big walleye. Holy crap. Hey there. Now, take a minute to subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed yet. Because, uh, if you're not subscribed, what are you thinking? Go ahead and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome back to Hawaii Outdoors. As you can see, I'm in the new portable here. It's an Otter Cottage 650. I've done some mods already. I got this foam flooring in. As you can see, I got the Crocs on. Don't even have the bibs on. It's nice and warm in here. Although it's 35 degrees out, but it's pretty comfortable. I'm just going to run two iFish Pros this afternoon, and then I'll pull one and start jigging later on. I got two holes cut out. There's one there and one there, but I got the circle that I cut out of it still in there, so I can set stuff on it. But I like it so far. I got some LED light strip there, and then I got an RGB light strip that wraps around here. And of course, I got black light on the power box, so I'm good there. But yeah, Christmas day today. Merry Christmas to all, to all you guys. Hope you're having a good holiday season. Hopefully we can get on some walleyes for you guys today. Stay tuned. Here we go. There's a nice run. Got him. Put the lights on here. Probably a 16, 17 maybe? 17. Sweet. He's gonna hit the grease, I think. On the tip up. Well, it's about six o'clock. I'm gonna start packing up here. Wasn't too good of a night. I got two eaters. Could have had a third to put it back though. Didn't really want to keep fish, but I changed my mind. I'm hungry for some walleye. Lewis and his buddy got five, I think. So wasn't too bad of a night. Could have been better though. Only had one eater on the flag. I was kind of bummed. I wanted to get some more flags. Those are pretty fun, but. Probably be back out here again tomorrow, so see you then. Welcome back to Hawaii Mountain Doors. It's the next day here. It's about 7 a.m. Just got set up here. Got my jigging rod and my bobber rod over there. Nice and cozy already. Crystal clear out this morning, no wind. Should be a perfect morning to catch some walleyes, so stay tuned. Hopefully, we can put some on the ice for you. There's an eater. Look at that boys. There we go. Probably a twenty inch, I had to guess. Teenager. Perfect eater. Let's go. Beautiful fish. Well, I didn't get the camera on time. It's got a 22 incher on the jigging stick. What a fat fish. here this afternoon it's about three o'clock on the dot. Got my bobber rig in and a 
iFish Pro setup with the new 40 inch medium rod and the new Abu Garcia reel that I bought today. And I went and spoiled myself with this too. It's a new 13 fishing free fall. I love this Nardo gray color so I'm going to start jigging later probably pull the iFish Pro once it gets dark but I already had a flag, missed it. But Hopefully we can get a few. Lucas should be recording over at his portable too. He's about 200 yards south of me. Stay tuned. Well, little update here. I have moved because some family decided to come set up 30 feet from me and bring five of five of their whiny kids, and I'm not gonna sit there and listen to that. I'm not gonna catch a walleye with them screaming. So I moved to a new spot about an hour from prime time. I got the eye fish and the bobber rig done. See how it goes, stay tuned. It's kind of nice one to tip up. Let's see what she measures. I mean, that's an 18. 18, perfect. Go in the grease. Just caught him on my new 40 inch medium rod. Bet you it's a gator. Big head shakes though. It's fighting like a gator. It's a big walleye. Don't lose it. That big, but probably a 20-incher. Yes. There's a good one. There's another 19. Maybe 18. Let's go. Be on Hawaiian Outdoors. Little one. Probably a 16, maybe. Little update for you guys here. Jigging and I got a bobber rig in here now. Pulled the iFish Pro. It's getting a little bit chilly, the hole's freezing over. Marking fish non-stop, but they kind of quit biting. I got a 19 and a half and two 18s in the pail, so I need one more. I'm gonna try to get a big one so I can keep fishing. Unless I get a big one, then I'll have to stop, but we'll see how she goes. It's only 5.30, so stay tuned. Doubled up here. That one released itself. There's a better one. Nice fish. In there, I think. That's a nice fish right there. It's probably. 21, 22. 21. It's my last eater. Let's go, boys. Set a double. Sweet. It's about 7 o'clock. Got that last one a little bit ago. I'm going to pack up here in a few minutes and head her home. Fry up some fish. Get her again in the morning. Stay tuned. 6.31 a.m. We're out here set up half an hour earlier than yesterday morning. We caught him right away. Lucas caught him right away when we got out here yesterday at 7. So we got here a little bit earlier. Got the banana on the bobber rig down. and I got my little green jigged spoon on. It's 
pretty chilly this morning, so I'm not going to run the tip up unless it warms up and the wind dies down a little bit. But hopefully, we can get on some walleyes. I got my limit in this spot last night, so set her on top of the same holes. Hopefully, she pans out. Stay tuned. I'm going to double up here. better one. Oh my gosh. Can't hook him with this thing. Finally got one. Going back. Holy crap, that's a big fish. Maybe not. Fifteen and a half. Going back. Nice little 15, 15 and a half. It's been pretty slow. <laughs> little update, 2.30. Still going at it. A couple hours from prime time. Hopefully she picks up. It's been a pretty slow day. Nice fish. Fighting like a cat caddy though. That's yeah, catfish. Big puss fish. Oh my god, that's a big walleye. Holy crap. No! Oh my god. No! That was like a 27 incher. There's a 16. Give her a measure here. Still heartbroken after I just missed that pig. Sixteen incher. Not keeping fish today. Gonna put her back. Been out here for 12 hours. Not a very good day. Thought it was gonna be better. I think the overcast and the snow didn't help at all, but I caught probably a limit and a half, limit and a half of 16 inches, but I didn't want to keep any fish today. And then I missed that pig. I'm still heartbroken. I don't know how big it was, I guess. I'm sure it was 
somewhere between 26 and 30 if I had to guess. I know I didn't get very good footage of it, but I was trying to catch the fish and not camera angles, but it's probably the end of the video. Maybe not. I'll see how much footage I got, but thanks for watching. If this is the end, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Hey there. Got a new recipe for you guys. We've been getting some nice walleyes. We got into them this morning, me and Hunter, and Garrett got into them tonight. Some nice fish between... 16 and 21 inches, so we got a whole bunch of fish. We're gonna show you guys a new recipe here. Frank's Red Hot and some flour with flurries. We're just gonna do a couple dips and then this recipe is pretty good. It actually doesn't turn out very spicy as you think it would, so if you don't like spicy stuff, don't be scared to try this because it doesn't turn out too spicy. It just adds a lot of good flavor. So we're gonna go ahead and Dipper in the Franks. Flour. Back in there. Back Double in the flour. Here, good and coated. A little on the messier side, but Hunter, you can help me here. Louis just washed hands. Unbelievable with you. These ones look better. Because he did flower oh, Frank's God. flower. Remember when I did that to you when I missed a fish? <laughs> yep. I had a taste of lake water. <laughs> nice fresh walleye. Oh, well, that's it. Gonna be good. Chef. Chef Louis. Satisfying. Gonna be good. Keep the venison jerky getting smoked currently. That's good. That'll be enough for one batch. Oh my good lord. Oh yeah. Very good. Nice rig. What was that? I mean, delicious. Second batch going in. I think that's the one we did. Here we go. Oh, my good lord. That's hot. Any good? That is good. You better try a piece. Oh, my God. Drinks red hot and flour. That's all I need. Again, listen here, YouTube. Much better than duck. Mm. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for some more big walleye action.